What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. We're here in San Francisco, Ferry Building right behind us. Just wrapped up a couple meetings. Now we're headed to Burlingame to meet with the CEO of Proterra, which is an electric bus startup. Recently popped onto our radar after they raised $100 million at nearly a billion dollar valuation. They're revolutionizing urban transport, trying to get buses to go electric. This means less noise, less pollution. Seems like the obvious future for urban transport. So super stoked to meet with them, see what we can find. I don't know, you stoked? Hell yeah, let's go. All right, see you guys. We're really moving. New Yorkers in SF, we're walking twice as fast as everybody. City subway maps, ripe for disruption. Ripe for disruption. So hard to figure out what the hell's going on, where you're supposed to be going. No one understands them. I thought New York was bad, but I guess SF, you're not too great either. Are we running, Galley? We got like four minutes left. Really? Like jogging vlog? Tesla out front. Yeah, I think we made it. What up, HyperChange? Proterra has just deployed two of their electric buses here in the East Village, so we're gonna go check them out. Let's go. Founded in 2004 by Dale Hill, Proterra already has hundreds of buses deployed across the United States in cities like New York, Seattle, Dallas, Anchorage, uh, and many more. But we think they're just getting started. In 2014, Proterra got some new leadership in the form of Ryan Popple. Ryan was super nice and actually gave us a tour of Proterra a couple weeks ago in Burlingham. So shout out Ryan, thank you, and the Proterra team. We had a blast. But Ryan Popple has a really interesting background and we think he is the perfect guy to take Proterra all the way. Ryan was originally the director of finance for Tesla from 2008 to 2010 and then decided to join the renowned venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins to lead late stage clean tech investments. Among those investments was Proterra where he originally became the interim CEO in 2014 and then was so hooked on the company and mission he decided to stay on full time and has been with the company for four years. They just raised about $100 million at an 800 $140 million valuation, and we think that is going to turbocharge their next round of growth. So you might be wondering, why electric buses? Are they better than the status quo? And the answer is yes, for two main reasons. The first one is economics. Thanks to advances in battery technology, electric buses are actually much cheaper to operate than any of the alternative technologies, including purely diesel, natural gas, and diesel hybrids. This means that over the life cycle of the vehicles, operators can save hundreds of thousands of dollars by going with one of Proterra's electric buses. This comes from a combination of things, the biggest reason being less maintenance costs. As we know from analyzing Tesla, there's just simply a less moving parts in the electric drivetrain and these battery powered vehicles. This means there's far less maintenance costs, no oil changes, no fuels to replace, no expensive add-on. See, loud diesel engines can't hear anything. Additionally, it's just vastly cheaper to recharge a battery than it is to fill up a gas tank with diesel. So these two reasons make it cheaper to operate Proterra's buses throughout their life cycle than any of the alternatives. The second biggest reason, which is perhaps even more important, is that these are just vastly better for cities and vastly better for people's health. As you just saw, they're so loud. Like these diesel buses, you have to yell at your friends when you walk by them to talk to them. They're in just massive amounts of noise pollution that comes with that. Additionally, the health effects from all of the diesel fumes that are being emitted from these buses are significantly impacting the health of the citizens of all these different major cities across the world. That is why a ton of different governments have mandated that all of their bus fleets need to go electric by the year 2030. The average bus stays in commission for about 12 years. So that's right, you guessed it. All of these 
cities who want to go green are starting to replace their fleets with electric buses today. And that's why we think Proterra is set up for such an awesome business opportunity. Aside from going electric, we think the entire bus market is more exciting than you think. Over the next 20 years, more and more people are going to start moving into urban, dense cities, and that's going to drive up demand for public transportation. We think that more cities are going to start looking like Seattle's King County, where there's dedicated bus lanes that reduce traffic and reduce congestion during rush hour. Buses are also way easier to overhaul. The roads are here, the routes can be changed, and you can implement buses overnight, whereas a subway might be way harder and cost way more money to install. Now you may be wondering, why Proterra? Aren't there other electric bus companies? And you'd be right. Their main competition is BYD, the Chinese electric vehicle maker backed by Warren Buffett. But much like Tesla, Proterra has a key competitive advantage, and that's its batteries. Proterra's key proprietary battery assembly plant allows them to have the leading range of any electric bus on the market. Their new EC2 Catalyst, which was unveiled in late 2016, has a battery pack between the range of 440 and 660 kilowatt hours. This is equivalent to a range of between 194 and 350 miles on a single charge. This makes it usable for almost any route in the entire transit system across the whole US compared to the standard electric bus, which can just go 130 miles on a charge. So we think Proterra's battery technology is a key competitive advantage and the reason why they are so well positioned to capture the bulk of the electric bus market. All right, so we are on the corner of Ludlow and Delancey at the stop for the B39 bus. Proterra is supposed to be running this route, so we are on the lookout for one of their blue zero emission vehicles. Let's see if we can find it. Well, we waited and I guess there aren't any buses that are coming. Ryan, send more buses to New York. We need them. So, I know what you guys are wondering right now. Will Tesla buy Proterra? Does that make any sense? I mean, they're both doing electric vehicles, right? So, let's lay out a couple pros and cons here. Proterra is already valued at $840 million. We don't have official word on their revenue, but my guess is it's somewhere around $50 to $100 million. So, Tesla, if they were to buy Proterra, would have to shell out a billion or two. First of all, Tesla doesn't have a billion or two to spend on anything besides the Model 3 right now, so they would have to use stock. Would I be happy about that? Not really. So logistically, I don't think an acquisition will actually make sense in the near term because Proterra is a little bit too expensive right now for Tesla. But beyond that, Proterra's end vision just isn't big enough to move the needle for Tesla's end vision. Let's face it, there's only about the sale of 5,000 transit buses per year in the US. And sure, that market is growing steadily, but that is dwarfed by something like the semi-truck, which sells about 200,000 units per year in the US. And that just to give you a sense of why Tesla's attacking the semi-truck market with its technology, not the bus market with its technology. In fact, I even asked the CEO of Proterra, Ryan, what he thinks about Tesla as a competitor. And he said, frankly, the market of buses is just too small for them to get into for it to really move the needle for them. And that's why it's not a priority. Also, I think it's really interesting to note though that Proterra will eventually expand beyond this transit bus market. They already have announced a partnership with Van Hool, who makes these fancy coach buses for transporting different teams and that sort of thing around the country. And they will be unveiling the first all electric coach bus with Van Hool in 2018, starting deliveries of that in 2019. So, you know, over the long term, I see Proterra steadily growing, starting to tackle more of these verticals of bigger, sort of heavier industrial vehicles, you know, like buses, like coaches, eventually maybe even like fire trucks, like the one we saw. Um, but realistically, in the long term, I don't see this being much bigger than a five to $10 billion company. Tesla's already worth 55 billion today, going on to several hundred billion in the next few years, in my opinion. So them buying a company that just has the potential, if everything goes right, to be worth 10 billion, isn't exactly enticing or moving the needle. So I don't think an acquisition will happen, but at the end of the day, I'm super excited about Proterra as a standalone company. You know, electrifying urban transport is something that needs to happen for us to go sustainable. These are gonna be much better cities for all of us if there's no more loud diesel buses emitting all of these fumes everywhere. Like this is just a better city of the future that 
Proterra is building. So we're all rooting for them. Um, and I think the execution they've shown in terms of battery technology leads me to believe that they are going to be you know, a first mover and a leader in this niche for years and years to come. It's rumored that they could potentially be IPOing soon, and I really hope that happens because it would be epic to see another electric player on the market. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Huge shout out to Ryan from Proterra for showing us around. Good luck with everything. Shout out to K-Bone behind the camera for filming. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you love HyperChange, I know you guys do, check out our Patreon page for more info on how to support. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. So we couldn't find the Proterra bus, so we're gonna go look for sneakers now. Yeah, we're going to be pivoting into sneakers.